Let's imagine that your Samsung phone is getting stuck and locked by Android FRP feature. Surely you can ponder the following question. How can I bypass this option if I don't remember a password from my Samsung phone? Well, don't fret, as in this review we're gonna share with you some useful hints that will allow you to bypass FRP lock feature. Let's get started! Before we proceed to the relevant methods, it's better to explain what is FRP lock feature. FRP Samsung option is a robust security system developed by the company itself, compatible with smartphones with Android versions 5.1 or later. This feature keeps your device safe from unauthorized access as it is requires you to sign in using the Google account associated with the device. FRP Samsung is especially useful in cases when your device is stolen or lost. You see, the FRP log doesn't allow access to a device without signing to the Google account signed to it. Therefore, even if someone factory resets your device, they won't be able to get in. For the first method to prevent you from getting stuck on Google account verification screen, you can disable the FRP lock on your device. But it should be noted that this method is only applicable to Android 5.1 and below systems. If your system version meets the requirements, then you can follow the steps below to disable the FRP lock. Find and select the apps application on your Samsung device. Then click on settings and then select the accounts option. Here you will see the Google option. Click on it and then tap on your name. You need to click on the more option button right on the top right corner. Choose remove account and confirm again. Then the Google account and FRP lock will be removed from your device. The second method seems to us much more effective, user-friendly and less time-consuming. All that you need is to download and launch DroidKit utility on your PC or Mac computer. Simply connect your Android phone to it by USB or Type-C cable. Among the options, find and choose FRP Bypass feature. Then click on Start button and wait patiently for the configuration files to be prepared. Next, DroidKit will ask you to choose your Android OS version, and you should proceed with the on-screen instructions that will be pop-up in DroidKit application. In case if you haven't factory reset your Android phone, please reset it and reach the welcome screen first. Then complete some setups and connect your device to a stable Wi-Fi connection. Go back to the welcome screen and tap on Emergency Call option. Next, enter the code that will appear right in DroidKit and click on Reset button. Finally, when you see Bypass completed screen, your phone will restart automatically. And here you go! Just as so simple as that. Hope that all the tips were kinda useful. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel, like this review and share it with your friends on the social nets. Thanks for watching and see you soon! Peace!